Hey, I'm just going to quick, I'm going to break things down in videos for now. Um, for beginners, so just to develop that upper body strength uh, to break, climb from the ground, and then standing, and then we'll work on that pretty much just knees to elbow and trying to get the feet into a bite if we can. So the key, the key with this is keeping the arms straight and bringing the knees up like that knees to elbow and then finding the bite and then, yeah, and then coming back down. So that's like a beginner scaling version. So it gives them a little bit of skill and a little bit of strength. For there, once they can do that and maybe just working on one bite is, um, so going again from the ground, sorry, Holly, from the ground. So once they've got that set up and they've got the, the bite bit, so walking up, knees up, sit. Lean back, lock it, and then just working on that one bite. So trying to stand up on the rope. And then again, reaching tall, 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 tall. Lock it in with your feet and trying to get the longest bite you can. Coming down with control, hand to hand, scissoring with the feet to release. So that way, if it goes wrong, and making sure there's nothing around them. If that goes wrong, at least they haven't got too far to fall. One bite's manageable, not from the top. All right, so that's the scale version. So we broke the centre to the knees to elbow. This is going to be the um, how do you teach the bite version. So you probably need to be a bit closer so you're sort of straddling the rope. So we've been through it. I'll just quickly go through the setup demo. So we're showing the group the demo, uh, setting up. Knee on the outside, foot on the inside. And reaching up as tall as you can. There's different versions where people can stand with their feet sort of crossed if they struggle with that. And then when they come up, they're naturally in that, in that sort of bite. So personally, the, um, that's the better version with the knee on the outside, foot on the inside, just break it down. Then it's onto the box. We probably need the box. It's going to be directly under the road here. Ollie's going to jump onto the box. And from there, you can teach him that breakdown. So maybe jump into the side there, Zane. Hopefully, Ollie's got under his one. <laughs> so from here, it's reaching up tall, and that's why you have to be directly under the box. And then from there, bringing one knee up. Normally, you have to help him out a little bit. So bring one knee up. As far as you can, looking up, you've got to look up. As if you look down, it closes the gap. And then from there, other foot comes under. And you can either, for a beginner, you want to actually wrap it around. And I'll stay out here sometimes, just lock it. Just make sure, make sure you hold the rope, because hitting your head in the box isn't very pretty. And that top foot needs to go on to the rope, just to lock it. You can stand there and hold that for him. And then if Ollie stands up, it gives him that sensation of locking off with your feet and using your legs instead of your arms. And then come back down again. Cool. So that's a full wrap around holder for him, telling, showing him what it should feel like. And he basically treads on the rope. You can use this uh, scissor, so coming around to the side, in front of him. Hello, there you go. Hey, good, thanks. Then the scissor, you want to keep going from there, Ollie? Yep, there you go. Go. Cross the feet, create that channel. Onto the rope, onto the feet, squeeze. Let's go, hands, and stand up. Once again, safe descent. Back down the box. And that's here, Quick.